time now for our weekly injury update with Dr. Stephen Pomerantz of MRI Online. And Dr. Pomerantz, it's time to talk about Indianapolis Colts backup quarterback, Jacoby Brissett, because he injured his left knee in the Week 9 contest. Uh, but we're hearing it could be much more than that. Well, you know, the uh, it sounds like he has a, a medial collateral ligament injury. So, you know, the knee is stabilized on each side by what we call side ligaments. On the inside of your knee is the medial collateral ligament, and on the outside is a complex a pattern of ligaments called the lateral collateral ligament complex. So which of those two is it better to injure? By far, it is better to injure the medial collateral ligament, which he did, and that is more common. Now, usually when you have a medial collateral ligament, your return to play heavily depends on the grade. And short term, very variable. You know, if it's low grade, you can come back the next week. If it's intermediate to high grade, it can take up to six weeks. So without knowing the grade, it's very difficult for me to prognosticate. Although I will say watching the video, it does not look like it was low grade because, you know, he was grabbing his knee. Most low grade medial collateral ligament injuries the player will walk off. They're usually not lying down on the field. So I suspect it's at least intermediate grade, which means we're, we're somewhere in the two to six week time frame. But the good news is this is the type of injury without long term sequela. In other words, he should be back to his old self within a reasonable time frame with with no hindrance of his performance whatsoever. Yeah, he seemed to be moving around on the sideline very well. He was able to not only bear his own weight, uh, he was able to jump around and, and sort of simulate dropping back and throwing passes. Now, he did not come back into the game. So what can we tell from from just those pictures alone, the fact that he could bear his own weight and he was moving and kind of jumping around to be able to simulate the motion of throwing a football? Well, we probably can tell that it's an isolated injury because, you know, if he, had a, if he had another ligament injured or he had a meniscus injured, he probably wouldn't be bearing weight or a cartilage injury. So it probably is isolated in terms of intermediate prognosis, probably excellent intermediate prognosis, excellent long-term prognosis, short-term prognosis, variable in terms of his ability to return, but he should be just fine. And if you're going to have an injury to your knee, this is a good one to have. Yeah, and the Indianapolis Colts, I guess things just keep racking up for them at the quarterback position because you and I – um, just earlier, before the start of the regular season, we were talking about the loss of Andrew Luck. Jacoby Brissett comes in, plays well for them, have them at a winning record, and now he's dealing with an injury, and they have to go to Brian Hoyer. So uh, what what can you say about their luck at the quarterback position and, and maybe just give everyone in Indy some hope that Jacoby Brissett could be back before the end of the regular season? Well, I, I'm confident he will be back before the end of the regular season. But he is he is a running or a mobile quarterback. And this is a type of injury that does hinder a bit, at least for a period of time, your ability to, to make a sharp cut. So that could affect his mobility as we move forward. But I, I strongly suspect he will be back to play within a reasonable time frame, namely in the next two to four weeks. Well, we appreciate you telling it like it is and giving us this, what good news you possibly can. Dr. Pomerantz, want to thank you for joining us again for MRI Online in terms of our weekly injury update. Thank you, Dr. Pomerantz.